Hi everyone, my name is Christy and welcome to my February 2020 Ipsy Glam Bag Unbagging. I did this two-in-one unboxing video last month and I really enjoyed filming it this way. I think that you all enjoyed watching it this way. And I was kind of thinking if I received all of my glam bags at the same time, maybe I would do all three in one video or I also am subscribed to BoxyCharm. I was thinking I would include BoxyCharm in my unboxing video. I'm kind of wanting to change it up since I've been doing these for over a year now. I figured I could do these together and then I'm gonna wait for my BoxyCharm box and my Glam Bag Plus, which are both $25, and do a comparison unboxing video on those and I am so excited for that. Hopefully they're gonna be here soon. I got email notifications that they both shipped, so make sure you're subscribed to my channel so that you don't miss out on that video coming very soon. But so, I love Ipsy. I love doing my unboxing and I love doing dedicated review videos on all of the makeup products that I get as part of my trying a new makeup product everyday series, if you're not already familiar with that. But so, Ipsy is a monthly beauty subscription service and I've been getting it for, like I said, over a year. I've been getting the regular glam bag. And so this regular glam bag here, oh my gosh, I love this, it's so soft. Like this is so my style. So far the glam bags for 2020 have been so my taste and I've been loving them. So this is really cute, like a, what would you call this, quilted <laughs> material? So the monthly glam bag here costs $12 a month. And so I'm gonna start out by showing you what I got in this one. Let's see if the card has product info. Yes, it does. I have been getting lots of glam bags that haven't had product info in them and I love getting the product info. But so the theme of February 2020 is feel the love. Perfect for Valentine's Day, which I love Valentine's Day. It's on Friday and it's also going to be my four year anniversary with my boyfriend is on Valentine's Day. So very excited for that. And I don't, it doesn't say it on the card here, but I saw it in the Ipsy Glam Bag app that in March you're getting a bonus product. So it said that I would be getting six products in the month of March. So that's really exciting because you normally get five products and I thought maybe the card would talk about how March was going to be a bonus, but I don't see anything about that. So that's just a little spoiler for you if you didn't know. Okay, so I'm gonna pull out the first product. Oh, it got kind of squished. At least the box did. So this is from Murad. It's the Renewing Eye Cream. Oh my gosh. Nope, the product didn't get squished because it's teeny, 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 tiny in such a big box, but I guess it kept it protected. But so I haven't actually tried out this product, I don't think, but I received a lot of Murad products in my beauty subscription boxes and it's a great brand and I'm loving eye creams lately. It's been one of my like skincare game changers from 2019, so I will definitely use that. <laughs> Yeah, the full size version of this Murad Renewing Eye Cream is $82. So it's a really nice skincare brand. And then, oh, cute packaging here. Kovos, is that the brand? I'm not familiar with that. K Voss NYC Fairy Dust Pressed Highlighter in Moonlight. This is a full size product with a retail value of $28 that I got in my $10 or $12 Ipsy Glam Bag. That seems like I got so lucky. And I've never heard of this brand before, so I love when I get to find new brands from Ipsy. This looks so pretty, nice packaging. You got the mirror, and I'm just gonna do a little quick swatch. Oh. This looks like a beautiful reflective shade. So pretty. I love that it has like a hint of pink in it. So I feel like this would look really pretty on the eyelids as well as like a regular cheek type of highlighter. Wow, that's going to be so fun to try out. 
in my full dedicated review videos, which I upload every day at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So I'll be trying all of these out in full detail. So don't worry, I'm just doing quick little swatches or little review right now. Oh, this here, this is the It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better Primer. And I'm really excited that I got this because Ipsy lets you choose one product each month. And this was one of the choices and I almost chose it but I was hopeful that I would still get it in my bag anyways because I love primers and I love It Cosmetics, so I'm really glad that I still got it. So this is the deluxe sample size, but the full size version is $39. Can't wait to see how that works on me. And then I also got here IBY Beauty Head Liner Eyeshadow. I've heard of this brand. I may have tried out some other products from this brand before, but adorable packaging. This is a sample size. Full size is $20. I love that they give you the retail value of the full size products now. Gosh, these deluxe sample sizes are the cutest little things. Let's see. Ooh, that looks beautiful. I also need to do a little swatch of this. So this is an eyeshadow, pigmented. So here you can see those two swatches that I did so far. And then my fifth and final product in the Ipsy Glam Bag is, oh, this is the product that I chose. It's from the brand Pure. It's the four-in-one Love Your Selfie Long Wear Foundation and Concealer. And I love foundation, concealer, complexion type products. They're like my favorite type of makeup to do. So I was really excited to choose this. I got it in the shade LN2 Fair Ivory. And this is the deluxe sample size with the full size product being $36. I definitely feel like I got my money's worth with the products that I got in this bag here. And I'm really excited that I got some brands that I really love, some new brands. I got mostly makeup products, which is what I want, but then I got one skincare product, the eye cream, which I will actually use the eye cream and it's from a really nice brand. So I'm really, really happy with the products that I got in this glam bag. So I'll do a recap of all the products at the end of unboxing both of the glam bags. But now I'm going to unbox the Ipsy Glam Bag Ultimate Box, which cost $50 a month. <laughs> so let's hope that it is worth it. So. All right, so here it is. I'm gonna pull out, hopefully, a product card. Let's see. No, I did not get product information again, which is such a bummer because I like to know the retail value of what I got. It's more like, this is just like a Valentine card, like a Valentine card to me from Ipsy. I am so bummed that I didn't get product information again. Why does that keep happening? I would like to know in the comments down below if your Ipsy Glam Bag Ultimate Box came with a product information card. I'm like getting mad now that they aren't giving the product cards in so many of my glam bags. Like I might actually have to reach out to Ipsy about that because I am a disgruntled customer. <laughs> but anyways. Maybe what I got in this box will make me happy again. So here we have, oh, I think I actually chose this as an add-on. I did choose some add-ons. So unfortunately I don't have my product information card, so I don't really know for sure. But these are the Charcoal Blackhead Clear Three-Step Nose Pack. And I redeemed a bunch of my Ipsy points. You get points when you review products on the app or if someone signs up through your referral code, which I always have that in my description down below. And so some of the products I did redeem points for, but I still got them for free, so that's really cool. Like I definitely deal with blackheads on my nose, so it'll be really cool to see if this helps. And then another add-on that I chose is the Violet Boss HG Fun Size Eyeshadow Palette. 
and this is what it looks like. I have never tried out a Violet Boss eyeshadow palette, so I was really excited to be able to redeem points for this. Cute packaging on this. Ooh, that looks really pretty. I really like the colors that come in this. Some nice neutrals and then some warm shimmery shades. Very much my taste. And then the glam bag is in that same soft quilted material. And it's a pretty good size. Can fit a lot in here. Not my favorite like design shape layout as far as the glam bag ultimate bags go. Like this isn't even that that big compared to some of the other glam bags. But I mean, at this point, I have so many of these makeup bags. I don't even know what to do with them. I just have them all piled together and I'm just kind of waiting to figure out what to do with them. And then, ooh, this looks nice. This is from the brand Playa, which I have not tried any products out from them before. New Day Mist, three in one style refresh, smooths creases and restores style. So it's like a hairspray. You know what's so funny? I was actually thinking that I needed to buy a new hairspray to like keep my flyaways down. And that's what this is supposed to do. That is a really perfect timing. And the packaging is so cute. And then, ooh, I was hoping I would get this product. This is adorable. It's Tokyo Milk Hand Cream. And I actually just finished the hand cream that I keep at my desk at work. So I'm definitely going to bring this to work and it's going to look so cute on my desk. Look at that. The scent is Anthemoessa. Jasmine, salted grapefruit, honeysuckle, and sandalwood. Ooh. Oh my gosh, that's a beautiful scent. Put a little on my very dry hands. Can't get over how adorable the packaging is and the box that it came in. Like I'm going to keep this box and use it as a gift box. That's how cute it is. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. It actually has a little bit of like a nostalgic scent to me, which I love that scents can do that. They like give you memories. Kind of reminds me a little bit of the Britney Spears fantasy perfume that I love. And oh my gosh, this is really nice. Very moisturizing on my hand. Not too thin, not too thick. Great hand cream, okay. And then the next product I'm gonna pull out is Polar, the Genuine La Planned Cream. Oh, lip balm. I'm like, what is this? So like a squeezy tube lip balm that I don't know anything about because it's in a different language. <laughs> but from the brand Polar, which I've never heard of before, all of these products that I pulled out are from brands that I haven't tried or really heard of before, which is really exciting to me. I almost prefer getting products from new brands because it's just so fun discovering new brands. And then here we have Avit, Avite Water Flash Coconut Water Cream. Oh, another moisturizing product. Oh my gosh, and then my hand here, I have from the brand Skylar Hydrating Body Lotion with Hyaluronic Acid, which I needed a new body lotion. So the Avite product here is for the face. It's a face cream, and then you've got the body cream from the brand Skylar. I don't know these brands either, so, wow, I got a hand cream, a face cream, a lip moisturizer, body cream. So, lots of creams, but that is fine by me because I have been so, so dry all winter long. And then we've got some brushes, a full brush set of concealer, eye crease. And then it looks like some other eye brushes, which I will definitely use these because I have like very 
few eyeshadow brushes that I'm always reusing, so I'm always washing them. And it's such a pain to have to wash my brushes all the time. So I'll actually get great use out of these for eyeshadow looks. They look really nice, but I wish like I knew the retail value to know just how nice they are, but oh well. Okay, what are this? Ooh, beautiful packaging on this. This is from the brand Feel Harmony Rose Petal Facial Mask, Ultra Concentrated Toning Gel. Another brand that I haven't heard of. Oh, and by the way, the brushes are from the brand Shanab Miami. Besides that Violet Voss eyeshadow that I chose for myself though, haven't gotten any true makeup products yet. And I'm really excited about all these skincare products and the hair care, the brushes so far, but I want makeup. <laughs> so this is just like a mask that you put on after you've washed and dried your face, leave it on for 10 minutes and then take it off, which, Ooh, it actually looks gross. Considering how cute the packaging is. Is that how it's supposed to look? It actually looks gross. Rose petal facial mask. I did not expect it. Let me know if you got this mask, if that's what yours looks like, where it's like brown with scary looking almost like kind of looks like onions like is this a salad dressing <laughs> and i'm going to be putting that on my face i don't know about that i guess you can't judge a book by its cover or face mask by how it looks <laughs> we're going to see how it actually performs on my skin but okay here's a makeup product from the brand foley fire is that an a or a u can't really tell but it's a creamy matte lipstick in the shade Sunset Boulevard. This is a new brand to me, which is so exciting. So here it is. Ooh, this looks like a beautiful color. It's actually really similar to the lipstick that I have on today, which I love the color of. Ooh, I'm so excited to try that out. That looks like a beautiful Valentine's Day shade, actually. And then, oh, another Murad product. So this is the Essential C Day Moisture Broad Spectrum SPF 30. Actually, I remembered, I, or, I redeemed my points to get this. And I liked that it had SPF 30 and that it was a Murad product. So, cute little size, but it's so important to me to wear sunscreen every day and this sounds like a really nice one so then if i like it i can purchase the full-size product which is probably going to be pretty expensive since it's murad <laughs> and then i also got ooh, lxmi nilotica <laughs> goddess glow hydrating illuminator i believe this is another product that i redeemed points for they had so many good products to redeem points for and it's not always like that. Sometimes I'll go look at what's available and I'll be like, there's nothing on here I want to use my points for. But when I went on last month, there was so much. So I just snagged it up while I could. The packaging on this seems kind of high end to me. Ooh, it says you can use it under foundation, mix in with your foundation or on the high points of your face. So I love a multi-use product and I love a glowy product. I do feel like I have so many products in this box because I did get a lot of add-ons. But so then here we have Better Bean Clean Face Coffee Cleanser from the brand Calio. Oh, we I'm terrible at pronouncing these brand names. So this is just like a face cleanser. I have so many face cleansers from previous boxes, but it's a new brand for me, which is exciting. And I love coffee, so it'll be a, a new type of cleanser for me. And then, ooh, cute box here. This rose ain't thorny. And it's from the brand Grace and Stella. Oh, it's a rose roller. Rose quartz facial massager. Love the packaging on this. Oh, it's beautiful. 
Believe it or not, I actually do not have a rose quartz face roller yet, which is kind of surprising because it's so me. And so I'm really excited to use this, but I wish I had my product information to tell me how to use it. Like I don't know what direction to roll it in on my face, but I love serums and skincare and self-care. So I'm definitely going to start incorporating this into my skincare routine. And then I actually got some masks, some sheet masks from the brand Sweet Chef, which I actually started using the Sweet Chef serum that I got last month. I use it every day as my morning serum and I really like it. So, and the serum that I have, I think is the Kale Vitamin B Pressed. So here's the sheet mask to go with that. And I'm really excited to try these because I've been really liking this brand. And then the last product here is, okay. So this is from Makeup Geek and this is the Champagne and Rose. I think this is the product that I chose. I mean, it's kind of, you can see it's kind of dirty how it arrived but it doesn't look swatched, but these look like really pretty colors. Like I was saying with that Violet Voss palette, kind of similar where you've got the neutrals, but then some pretty shimmery pink shades. I love these types of palettes, so I'm really excited about that. But it's kind of like, why did this sticker come on the outside? I don't know. But okay, that's all that I got. <laughs> that's a lot of products, but that's everything. So I'll do a quick recap. I really wish I could tell you like the total retail value, if I had an idea, if I got my $50 worth and to know what products were part of the actual Glam Bag Ultimate, which were my add-ons for sure. But I actually don't think I got any makeup products that were not add-ons except for maybe this eyeshadow and the lipstick, which is kind of a bummer. Hopefully, I'll really love these skincare products. Let me do a very quick recap of what I got. So I got three Sweet Chef sheet masks, the Grace and Stella Rose Roller, the Playa New Day Mist, the Tokyo Milk Hand Cream, the Feel Harmony Rose Petal Facial Mask, the Fally Fire Matte Lipstick, the Makeup Geek Champagne and Rose Eyeshadow Palette, the Shanab Miami Eyeshadow Brushes, the Polar Lip Balm, the Calioe. <laughs> Better Bean Clean Face Coffee Cleanser, the Avete <laughs> Coconut Water Cream, the Skylar Hydrating Body Lotion, and then the add-ons that I chose. I got the LXMI Goddess Glow Hydrating Illuminator, the Violet Boss HG Fun Size Eyeshadow Palette, the Murad Essential C Day Moisturizer Broad Spectrum SPF 30, and the Charcoal Blackhead Clear Three Step Nose Pack. <laughs> and then, of course, the Glam Bag for the month of February. And as for my regular Glam Bag, I got the Pure Four in One Love Your Selfie, the Kovas Fairy Dust Pressed Highlighter the It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better Primer, the IBY Beauty City Limits Headliner Eyeshadow, and the Murad Renewing Eye Cream. So I actually feel like I'm more satisfied with the products that I was matched with in my regular Glam Bag than my Glam Bag Ultimate. And I'm continuing to spend $50 a month in my Glam Bag Ultimate and just not getting the right products for my likes. And I've definitely 
told Ipsy what I like. I filled out that questionnaire a couple times. I'm always reviewing the products, saying if it's what I like, what I didn't like, which actually, at least I didn't get any nail polishes in this box. I mean, knock on wood, but I keep getting nail polishes even though I say that I don't want any nail polishes, but also just how I didn't get product information and that made me already kind of upset at the box and then just seeing that the products were products that I had told Ipsy many times I didn't want to get anymore like masks like that or brushes so that's just the risk I gotta take with these monthly surprise beauty subscription boxes but I would love to hear in the comments down below if you're happy with your Ipsy Glam bags, what products you got, which are the products that you're most excited about. And thank you so much for watching my video today. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel so you can see the makeup that I try every day. And I will see you tomorrow in my next video.